<laughs> well, shalom, shalom, and we are so excited. I'll tell you what, this is must be a divine connection for us because, uh, Lana, we have had so much challenges connecting uh, our ministries together, and I believe it's because the Lord has something very special for, for all of us, and so we're real excited. So but we want to welcome you to the Kirk Landry Ministry broadcast, and we're so honored and blessed to have you uh, joining us uh, here this evening here, and of course we know it's morning there. So anyway, mm -hmm. God bless you and shalom. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here. And I, I do, I really believe that the Lord is going to release something powerful. I really feel it in my spirit. I've had such an excitement to be with you all today. So thank you so much for having me. Well, let me, I'm just going to start right off the bat. I know that we want to talk about identity and, and, uh, and I was going to, I want to share about my new book, Reclaiming Our Forgotten Heritage. But I, I would really would like to, I want to follow the Holy Spirit with you as well. What, yeah. what, what's the Lord really speaking to you? What's the, the now word the Lord speaking to you right now? Yeah, the Lord's been speaking to me a lot in the last couple of months about uh, restoration and, and releasing hope to people. Uh, even yesterday, I think it was, I, I released a prophetic word and it was titled um, Back from the Brink. And I feel like the Lord's really um, demonstrating right now his, his faithfulness, his deliverance and healing and restoring his people and really revealing to his people uh, who they are in Christ and who he is. Yeah, and at the start of um, this year, I was sitting with, with Jesus and I was meditating in the word and I heard this whisper and he said, Lana, he said, I'm about to reintroduce the church to my power. And, uh, and I really feel like the Lord is positioning us right now in that place of the revelation of who he is and who we are in him to then go forth and to move in the empowerment of the Holy Spirit like we never have before. Like I, I just, I have this overwhelming sense of, of what the once and for all. I feel like the chains that have held many for so long are finally breaking. Things like the cycles that have been going on and on and on in people's lives, that there's a real finality, there's a real breakthrough that God is bringing right now. Yes. Yeah, I would, ag would agree with that. Uh, you know, we have, um, uh, we have really, for oh, 19 years now, we have followed the, the biblical calendar from the Hebraic in regards to the feast. And uh, so this would have been the 19th Passover for us in, uh, in at house of David. Wow. And, uh, and we have, we have actually have so many people that come and visit that we actually had two Passovers and one on the first Friday and one on the last Friday of Passover. <clears throat> but I, and this was 57, 79. Mm. You know, nine is a number of justice, but it's also a number of judgment. Mm -hmm. And judgment is the friend of those who desire right standing with God. And, yes. and, and so when we're talking about this shift, uh, you know, we've never, this is our first time. Of course, I followed yeah. you on uh, Elijah List and, uh, and, and I, we have many of very similar friends, mm -hmm. a lot of crossover. Yes. But yes. uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and share this because I just want to see where we cross over. Yeah. Uh, alignment, anytime there's a shift, if we could take it into the business world, anytime there's a shift in business, then there's a shift of alignment. Like, like mm -hmm. companies will come together and they'll, uh, they may form a, a venture capital group and they'll form like a new, a new, a new company where the two companies actually – create a whole new LLC or whatever that is. And yes. in order to, uh, they, they get to a place where they realize I've come this far with what I have and I can't go any further and I'm going to have to cross pollinate or I'm going to have to incorporate mm -hmm. or network. And, you know, you see that in Luke when, when Yeshua was calling the, his first four disciples, he told them, he says, go get your nets, plural. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's the season we're in, and I believe that's what's happening even uh, on this broadcast. Is that you have Australia, you have uh, what's happening in in Israel, and what's happening mm -hmm. here in Oklahoma. And there's a there's a there's a new level of alignment. One of the things mm -hmm. I see is I and I've never been to Australia. I've been to New Zealand and yeah. Indonesia and some areas around there. But I really believe that there is a special connection 
particularly with the new leadership that your country has, that mm-hmm. there is a, there's going to be a new connection to Zion down under. There's yeah. going to be a, uh, a new supernatural alignment and a drawing from the whole nation of Australia to, to connect with its own Jewish roots. And one of the reasons that I see that happening is, is because one of the scriptures that the prophets speak about, he says, go to the islands afar off and say, he that scattered Israel will gather him. And mm-hmm. obviously your island is one of those islands uh, afar off. So yes. I, I do think that, that we're, we're experiencing a, a tremendous anointing of shifting and, and that shifting really has to do with, um, you can't know who you are in him until you, there, there has to be a new identity. You know, mm-hmm. when we're born again, the, the scripture says we become a new creation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And with that, a lot of times we have new purpose, new destiny, but we don't really go into that, that new identity. Um, mm-hmm. the, this, this book that, that uh, we've written, Reclaiming Our Forgotten Heritage, the whole, this was a two-year project with six rewrites, and uh, we wrote it with Thomas Nelson. And when Thomas Nelson approached us on this, now understand they're primarily a Baptist organization, and uh, you know we're spirit-filled, believing Jews, and come from a prophetic stream. Yeah. And so when, when they approached us on this project, they said, they really challenged us. They said, we want you to be able to take this message that you're carrying to mm-hmm. people that know nothing about what you're speaking about. Wow. And, and they asked me, they said, what do you think the most important thing about the Jewish roots of the faith are? And I said, identity. Yeah. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and we know as prophets, <clears throat> excuse me, that the whole reason for our prophetic gifting is to be able to help reveal that identity. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. And it's interesting. I was even um, this morning. I was meditating on that very scripture in in Second Corinthians five seventeen. You know if, that now we're a new creation. And I actually looked at it in the Passion Translation, and it was. It, I just loved the wording. It said, "Now, if anyone is enfolded into Christ, he's become an entirely new creation. All that is related to the old order has vanished, and behold, everything is fresh and new." I thought, "Wow!" Like I was just sitting with the Lord, meditating on that this morning. And so, what you're sharing just so resonates with me and my heart. You know, I think a lot of times when, uh, if if I was watching this this broadcast and i see people who are uh strong in the prophetic uh i always think it's interesting how this morning the scripture the lord has has given me was about the potter and the clay Mm -hmm. so so uh you know so jeremiah he's the lord speaking him and says okay now i want you to go over to the potter's house Mm -hmm. and and of course the vessel was marred and the, and the potter had to make it into a new vessel. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's really kind of like, that's, that's, that's where we are right now. So many of us are marred, but then people take like, please, for the people, let's, do not take that negative. Mm-hmm. I mean, all of us, let, let me, marred, what it means to me is we haven't believed, dreamed, or aspired to the highest level of excellence that, that the Lord has for us. Yeah. And, and so when we believe at a lower level, it kind of mars the vision. Because what happens is everything that starts to filter through from the Holy Spirit, it starts to filter through at a level that's not high enough to be able to comprehend God's goodness, kindness, and, and, and the abundance that he wants mm-hmm. to do. And so, so I really sense that what's happening is, is the Lord... The Lord is kind of in this season of 5779, his justice is taking that area that was marred and he's and he's he's removing it so that so he can pour into us uh, the real identity and truly what we're called to be. 
That's exactly what the Lord has been speaking to me, almost word for word, what you just shared. Over the last week, the Lord has been repeating that to me. Even two weeks ago, I had a dream about the, the potter and the clay, and the Lord was speaking to me so much about that very thing, that he's bringing healing, he's bringing restoration. And the, the, I've actually been wearing a shirt for the last couple of weeks that says justice on it as a prophetic declaration of what I believe that the Lord is speaking. And so I really believe that. I really believe that the Lord is moving in power to bring those uh, marred places, to heal them and to restore them and to bring a complete transformation so that we can carry what he's, he's releasing. You know, yeah. those areas of the heart where there's been unbelief or there's been hurt, trauma, pain, whatever it is where we haven't had the alignment and the revelation of his goodness and his faithfulness, that the Lord's eyes are upon those things right now. And I was even saying this week, I was ministering somewhere here in Sydney and I said, the Lord's bringing things up so he can bring them out. You know, he's, he's bringing things up that's going on inside here so that he can heal them and deliver you yeah. and heal you. Yes. Yeah, I believe that this summer uh, we just finished uh, Pentecost, Shavuot. So mm -hmm. we had that 49 days uh, uh, of the countdown between Passover and, and Pentecost. Mm -hmm. And so now we're in between Pentecost and, and Rosh Hashanah, moving into mm -hmm. 5780. Okay. Um, but during that summertime, we also have the ninth of Av, and the ninth of Av is a, mm -hmm. is a uh, obviously a remembrance of the destruction of the temple. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that we're in a season where the Lord is pruning, purging, cleansing, whatever, but for our own good. And yes. um, um, uh, you know, um, boy, <laughs> uh, you know, I think about at Passover. Can you imagine being at a Passover? Think about this. You're at a Passover and, you know, you've had Passover your whole life, mm. but now you're having a Passover and this will be the third Passover you've had with, with your teacher, with your rabbi. Mm. So they would have already had two. So this would have been the third one. And he's been prophesying and his, his anointing has been getting more intense. And, mm. and, you know, they, you know, we know from the scripture, they weren't getting it, but at the same time, yeah. Their spirit man's getting it. The Holy Spirit's getting it. And yep. then all of a sudden, you know, he gets to the end of, of the Seder, mm -hmm. the Passover table, and all of a sudden he uh, he undresses and girts his loin and, and mm -hmm. starts to wash their feet. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, you know, this would be pretty strange because here's the man of great honor and, mm -hmm. and he's demonstrating servanthood. But, uh, but what he said to them, he said, what I do right now, he says, you don't know what I do, mm -hmm. but I have to do this. You, you don't understand it. And I really feel mm -hmm. like for those that are watching right now uh, from around the nation, I would say, um, uh, I would say this, that can we just trust the Lord, all of us, mm -hmm. whether you're in Australia, you're in America, you're in Israel, you're in Africa right now. You're in China. We've got a huge viewing audience in China and Taiwan, mm -hmm. Hong Kong. But can you just trust the Lord right now? Don't trust your feelings. If there was ever something, don't trust your feelings. Don't trust your circumstances. Don't, right. don't, I mean, anything in the natural right now, I would call it a liar. Okay. Yeah. Because, because the Lord is, the Lord is really doing something so spectacular for you. His, yeah. He is pouring out loving kindness. And it's hard when you're, when man, there's so much trouble on every end. But what the yeah. Lord is doing is he is shifting us. And I feel like the, in the spirit, we're in that foot washing time. And he says, mm -hmm. no, just let me do this. Just, just let me. Because mm -hmm. anytime you watch feet, feet have to do with authority. Yeah. 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 And uh, so I love that you share that this morning as I was waking, I was in that kind of sleep waking state and I heard the Lord say, what you never thought would be aligned, I'm now aligning. 
And I woke up and I said, Lord, what do you mean? And I felt the Lord say to me, those things that are going on, those things that you never thought you would overcome, the things in the heart that you never thought, you know, God, how are, how are these going to get healed? And God, there's so much stuff going on around me. I've got confusion and all of these things and everything feels messy. And I felt like the Lord said this morning as I was waking, and for those of you watching, that in the midst of all the turbulence and all the pressure and all of the things that are going on right now, that God is doing something so deep within you, those things that you never thought, God, I don't know how this is ever going to come together, how I'm ever going to see this this issue, this wounding, this pain, whatever it is, come into alignment, that the hand of God is actually moving deep in your heart to really bring alignment and those crooked places are, are, are coming straight. And I, I love that um, you were sharing about authority because the Lord's been speaking to me so much about the awakening of authority in Christ that he's bringing to us as the church, that in the name of Jesus, you know, all knee bow, every tongue confess, like nothing, um, nothing is impossible for him and I, I just want to release this to those of you watching right now I want to release hope to you that even when you don't understand God what is going on what's happening and I've the Lord keeps speaking to me in the last week that there's many in the body of Christ right now that have been feeling like God I feel like I'm going crazy Lord I don't know what's happening like I just I'm so overwhelmed I want to speak to you right now that God is actually preparing you and there's a pruning and there's a purging and an extending and the word I keep seeing is fortification that the Lord is fortifying you and strengthening you to go forward in all that he has for you and the things that you have battled in this last season the things that have tried to hold you back the giants that have been screaming at you that the name of Jesus is be, like I just see the power of the name of Jesus these things are coming down once and for all and there is a fresh breath of the spirit upon you to run in freedom and healing for all that Christ paid for you the victory of Jesus Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's 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 receive that. Let's let's all of us receive that right now. And uh, so I just want you to, wherever you're at, just just sitting there, or you're standing, you're watching. Uh, just just lift your hands if you can. I mean, obviously, some of you are driving the car, but I just want you to lift your hands of your heart and say, Father God, I receive this. I receive it. Let there be an acknowledgement. Say, Lord, let let me go into the courts of heaven. Let it be recorded today in my life. Lord, I receive this word. I receive it. And Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that you are shifting and imparting and strengthening your, your loving kindness. Lord, you, you are speaking about, uh, about the very things that we are all going through. It doesn't make any difference. This is a worldwide broadcast. Wherever you are, the, you are going through these pruning processes as a process because God loves you. He is yes. refiner. He is a refiner's fire. He is a launderer's soap. But praise God. And, and I think one of the key words here is, is, is alignment. And, yeah. um, you know, we're watching in the United States of America, we are watching mm -hmm. tremendous. Um, I've been working in Israel from the United States for 29 years, and mm -hmm. I have never seen so many prophetic fulfillments of alignment with wow. having uh, the, the Trump administration mm -hmm. uh, actually move the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem last year, and now recognizing the Golan Heights, recognizing it as a sovereign land of Israel. And, and now you, you have uh, 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 Jared Kirshner and uh, Greenblatt and his team are, are in Israel, and they have actually negotiated with uh, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, uh, uh, Jordan, and Egypt to start funding a uh, and, and this is but it's all starting. But the fact that they are funding with the United States and with Israel to help the Palestinian people in the Gaza and the West Bank. Uh, you know, I I've been like I say, I've been doing this 29 years. I never dreamed that we would see so much shifting. And, and these things are not being done with the Palestinian Authority or the government. This is being done with the business people and, and to get to the indigenous people, uh, the people in the land, uh, in the West Bank, in the Gaza Strip. And, and you have Lebanon knowing that they need their help. You have, you have Jordan know, knows all these nations. So, so what is prophetically is this saying? Is that when the United States of America aligned with Jerusalem, and that alignment in the spirit, that it opened a door of favor and grace 
to get around the corrupt government situations that are in the area. Uh, being careful how I'm saying this, but what happens is he's the Lord is going to the business people. Uh, mm. the, the United States team that is there negotiating this, uh, they're going to Bahrain and they're negotiating and they're actually going in with business people. These, these are, are people that are saying, yes, we're going to do this. This, these wow. inv this investment money is going to go into corporations, into hospitals, into schools. It's not going to be in these corrupted things of, of the past that, that came through different uh, sources that, that tainted it. So, so you can say, well, Rabbi, what are you saying? What I'm saying is this. The Lord said to his servant, he said, you know, um, many were invited. Yeah. But they did not come. And mm -hmm. then the Lord spoke to the servant. He says, go out to the highways and the byways that my house might be filled. Yeah. And, and I want the people to hear this tonight and hear this this morning, wherever you're watching from. The Holy Spirit is going out to the highways and the hedges. He is going out to the highways and the byways. He's not waiting on denominations. He is not waiting on large organizations. He's coming after you. He is so coming after you. He is zealous after Zion. He is zealous after you. The fire of the Holy Spirit is after you right now. And that's okay. why you feel alone because you're so used to an institutional or a global revival or a, mm. or a bit, something big. And what mm. God is doing is he's going into your home and he's going into your mountain of influence. He's going into your businesses and he's setting you on fire. And that's why the Lord has to rearrange our thoughts because he has thoughts and plans for us to prosper us, not to harm us. But we are in that time of great shifting. And uh, also, I want to bring into remembrance here that uh, uh, Lana has a, an empowerment event. I believe this is going to be a webinar and it's on July 19th and 20th. Tell us a little bit about this so people can sign up and know uh, about this empowerment this summer. Sure. Uh, the Lord spoke to me um, at the start of this year and said to me that he wanted us to invest more in media. I said, okay, Lord, what does that look like? And he said, I want you to do some online conferences. I thought, oh my goodness, how do we do this? And uh, so we've done two so far. And this one, the Lord spoke to me, woke me in the middle of the night. And he spoke to me and he said to me, Lana, he said, I am purging and I'm pruning and I'm, um, I'm burning away all this stuff in my people so that they can go forward in the empowerment of my spirit like never before, that they can partner with me to extend my kingdom and to see me do the impossible. And and so this conference really, um, I believe, is just going to be a, an amazing time of impartation and teaching. There's going to be some other speakers we're just in talking with at the moment. Um, but basically the Lord is really, I, I believe, breathing on that place that says, it's not about your ability, it's about your availability. And now in this new era, you're going to see an empowerment of my Holy Spirit to take you where you never thought you would go, to do what you never thought you would do. And nobody else gets the glory except for him. I feel like there is just this mighty demonstration of his power that is going to be released uh, through your life. So it's going to be a two-day event, three sessions both days. Um, we will release the registration details very soon so you can keep an eye on our Facebook page and our website. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a wonderful time together. Well, if you'll get that to our staff, we'll help advertise that for you. Uh, you. The Lord is speaking the same thing to us about the, the media mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, we're, we're making, uh, we're just doing a lot in, in the growth of that and constantly, yeah. uh, constantly growing. I do want to yeah. share this with you is that um, one of the main thrusts with reclaiming our forgotten heritage is, mm -hmm. is let me just go to the, to the bottom line with it is after after you have had the dross mm. burn out mm. you need to land in a place mm. and you need to land in a place of who are you in Christ you need to do that this book is the journey that that I've taken mm. uh, for 60 and when this was written this was 62 years Amazing. and uh, as a uh, as an orphan and born uh, out of wedlock mm. uh, you know, literally born in uh, downtown Los Angeles near Skid Row for the Lord to be able to take me from from a counterfeit identity into who we are today and doing the things. All that journey is, is absolutely here. One of the reasons my heart goes out with the alignment 
is uh, sometimes it just, it, it, I wish that I could impart to people how powerful, we always say this, Genesis 12, 3, I will bless those that bless mm -hmm. Israel. And everybody always says, oh, yes, we must bless Israel. And, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to say something deep here in a minute, but I just want to put it, I want to speak this particularly into Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think Australia will, will need this word. But yeah. it's great to bless, to be blessed, to be blessed. And I, I don't have any problems with that or be blessed to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. But blessing Israel is not about being blessed. Yes, you will. I, I can show you covenant promises, not just Genesis 12, 3. It's mm -hmm. all over the Bible. This is about, mm -hmm. I, I want you to hear this. This is about aligning your spiritual DNA. The, yeah. So when Paul speaks in Romans 11 about being grafted in, mm -hmm. um, we're in the olive tree business. We, we mm -hmm. have a ministry, my olive tree. We have 30,000 olive trees in, on, on army bases in Israel. So Amazing. what happens is when you, when you go into that natural tree and you, mm -hmm. and you take that knife, it's literally you take the knife and there's these little suckers that grow out of the bottom of the root system. Okay, you take a 45 degree with a very sharp, clean, uh, like a box cutter, and you mm -hmm. cut it really clean. Then you take you take the branch, you take the wild olive branch, mm -hmm. and and you and you and you cut it on the same angle. You attach it, and then mm -hmm. you actually wrap it with this, this this green tape, and you wrap it on there, and then it's grafted in. Now what starts mm -hmm. to happen is the sap, mm -hmm. the sap from the natural tree starts to run into the wild tree. Okay. And, and what happens is it actually changes the fruit. That's amazing. The, the fruit, a wild olive tree has very little meat on it. It's mostly pit and it's just a little bit of uh, skin. So th mm -hmm. thus you get very little oil. Mm -hmm. a, uh, that's a wild, a, a natural olive tree has mm -hmm. a small pit and lots of oil. So when they use the, uh, the allegory uh, about the Israel, natural Israel, mm -hmm. and we're grafted into it, the reason we are grafted into them and they are not grafted into us is because of a legal covenant DNA action that happens in the courts of heaven. Wow. In the courts of heaven, that DNA, when you're grafted into Israel, then you can go into the courts of heaven and put a demand in the courts with literally spiritual Jewish DNA in you. Now, I know this is going past a lot of people's head, but you have to realize <laughs> where was all the attacks coming from the Nephilim and all those mm -hmm. types of things. They were trying to mess with the DNA. And that's why when, when they did, it says in the scripture, and the Lord says, and, and there's no hope for the Nephilim. They're, he says mm -hmm. they're doomed to destruction. Mm -hmm. Anytime you start to mess with DNA, why does the devil want to mess with DNA? Why does the devil want to mess with sexuality right now and identity mm -hmm. and all this? He is messing with it is because when you find your true identity and your DNA in the spirit lines up in the courts of heaven and you are found highly favored of God, that's where the supernatural power, resources, destiny and purpose start flowing through your life and it flows very naturally. Wow, that, that's powerful. That is so powerful. I just, I could sit on that revelation for the next week. Like that is just so, I could feel it hitting my heart, hitting my spirit as you were sharing that. I just, while you were sharing, I saw the word um, unstoppable and I felt like what you were sharing, that, that revelation of identity, it, it then catapults us into that place where we are unstoppable. You know, that no fear can come and stand in front of us because we know who we are in Christ. We know who he is. You know, the Lord can send us in any parts of the earth to do anything. It's never an issue because our roots are down deep in him and who he is and who he says that we are. And I feel like even as you were talking, I could hear the sound of chains breaking. And I just want to speak to those of you watching right now. I believe that the Lord is breaking chains off of yes. you right now. 
I really believe that there are things that have tried to contain you, that, that as Rabbi was sharing, that those things are breaking, that there is a deliverance taking place over you right now. All day yesterday, the Lord kept speaking to me these words once and for all. And I said, Lord, what do you mean? And he said, I'm, de I'm decreeing, that's it, once and for all, that he's touching the places where those chains have been that have held for so long. And this is the deliverance, the once and for all, that's going to catapult you into a, I keep seeing like a new era of this adventure of revelation of who he is, the waves of his love crashing over you that are awakening you to who he says you are, that what the Bible says about who you are in Christ, what Jesus paid for you at Calvary, what he says. And I see right now even words falling off you that other people have spoken over you, the containments that say you can't, you can't do this, you're not that. All of those things, they're breaking off you right now in the name of Jesus, that they're no longer going to hold you down. But I see a branding iron of fire and it's coming, the revelation of his love and he's branding you again with the revelation of who he says you are who he says, and you're going to run forth empowered by the Spirit of God like never before. And I just want to share this. It's been burning in me all morning. I kept hearing these words, almost like the, the cries of people in the body of Christ, that they're saying, God, how long? Like, how long is this going to take? Like, I, 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 want, I want to be free. And I heard the Lord say this. I wrote it down on my notes right here. I heard these words, one word out of my mouth and everything changes. And instantly I was taken to Matthew 4, 4. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that flows out of the mouth of God. I want to prophesy this over you right now. I feel the Holy Spirit so strongly on this, that mm. words have been spoken over your life, your entire life to contain you. Con like continually, there's been words one after another and you can't get free. And I, I want to prophesy right now that one word out out of the mouth of God, one encounter where God is going to speak to you that these things are going to suddenly break. They're going to suddenly shift. There'll be transformation in one encounter with the Lord and your testimony will be, I saw Jesus, he spoke his truth and I'm free and I'm completely transformed and you're not even going to look the same. There's going to be a, a glow that's going to be on your face. Where your face, you felt like, God, I look heavy, I feel drained, that there's going to be a glow of the glory of God and the love of God. New life is coming back into you. I just want to release this over you right now that there is hope that the enemy may be saying it's over and you're never going to get free. But the truth is, is that the Lord has planned in what he's doing in your life right now to not only set you free, but to cause you to fly in the empowerment of his spirit like never before in Jesus name. Hallelujah. In Jesus, Jesus, Jesus name. Thank this is Jesus. so encouraging. Uh, the part of my study this morning was man does not live by bread alone. <laughs> And the Lord was it. telling me there's bread. And, and I, oh, I'll just, I just want to share with you what he was sharing with me. The Lord says, the, this is in speaking to me, he says, the bread is in the courts. He says, yes. I want you to look at the courts of record like a bakery. And he yes. says, and I want you to look at the scrolls like loaves of bread. And he says, and I want you to take your scroll off. And he says, I literally want you to eat it. I want it to consume you and you consume it. He says, because in this time, that single word, it's like the bread. And so yes. when Jesus said, I have bread you do not know about, it's because yeah. he was super. See, there is a supernatural infusion. That's why the Lord it doesn't say to fast or when you fast. It, mm. it, he, we are ordered to fast. And, and, yeah. and that's when the body kicks in. There's a regeneration that, that comes in. But that regeneration needs to be joined by an encouraging, an encouraging word from God. I want to yeah. encourage the people right now to, to be able to, to be able to be prepared to receive a word from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so many times people want a word and, and, and it's usually when you are very tired and you're mm -hmm. spiritually and physically fatigued. But I want to encourage you to, to uh, the joy of the Lord. It is mm -hmm. our strength. And I want to encourage you to, mm -hmm. to be joyful because the Lord, this is a very simple word for you. This too shall pass. And it's yes. passing right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Friday night at, at House of David, the Lord had me release mantles of peace. Wow. <laughs> and I, I want to release those right now. I, I just want you to close your eyes. And some of you are actually going to just, you're going to feel this. It's going to be like a prayer shawl, like a tallit. Mm -hmm. just going to come down and rest upon you. And he wants to release his peace. Mm -hmm. He wants to release his shalom. In Hebrew, we say, Shalom Melechem, my peace I give Melechem, I give it to you. 
The Lord is giving you peace. It's supernatural peace. And, and the reason it rests upon your shoulders, because Yeshua said, my burden is light and my yoke is easy. And then he, it, but as a choice, he says, take, take. So just take it now. Go ahead. Just go ahead and say, Lord, I receive it. It's okay. I know some of you feel unworthy. I know you feel unwanted. It doesn't make any, Lord, in the room of atonement, cleanse your children, separate them from doubt, separate them from the hopelessness and let the mantle of peace. Lord, I decree and declare over these airways that this battle that you have been fighting is over. This situation in your health is over. This situation in your finances, this situation in your marriage, this situation in your children, we decree and declare in the courts of heaven, let it be recorded today in the courts of deeds and records that it is finished for each and every one who is watching and agreeing with this now and in the archives. Because there's no distance. Jesus said, my words, they are spirit and they are life. So they live on, they are eternal. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just, I'm just hearing this scripture. I just got it up on my phone from Colossians 2, uh, 13 to 15. I want to just read it to you. I think this might be the, let me just double check, the Passion Translation. It says this, Then Jesus made a public spectacle of all the powers and principalities of darkness, stripping away from them every weapon and all their spiritual authority and power to accuse us. And by the power of the cross, Jesus led them around as prisoners in a procession of triumph he was not their prisoner they were his and as I just heard that right now I just felt like the Lord wanted me to decree over you the the manifestation of the victory of the cross that there yes. is a victory over your life right now rabbi as you were sharing you said you were decreeing that's it it's over that's what i was feeling the resounding mm -hmm. victory of jesus and i want to release that to every person watching right now that you are going to see a manifestation of the victory of christ that is already yours you are not fighting for victory you're fighting from it i want to release that there's a great yes. awakening over you right now in this season of your victory in Christ, those things that have come against you, that, that it's over. The Lord is dealing with them. The victory of Christ is being made manifest and there is going to be a public demonstration of the Lord's hand of victory and the testimonies that are going to fly out of your mouths. I just keep seeing one after another that you've been in this season where there's been so much coming against you, one thing after another, but I feel like there's a turning of the Lord right Right now in the victory of Christ manifesting in your life that you will have testimony after testimony after testimony after testimony and your testimony will be not by might nor by power but by his spirit he did it it was him it was the hand of God so I want to release that over you right now I know I keep saying hope but I can't get away from it that there is fresh hope that God is wanting to release to you that where hope has been deferred that the Lord is releasing hope right now the desires fulfilled are a tree of life God is going to satisfy your soul and your heart again. <laughs> boundary lines are falling in pleasant places. So I want to release over you right now that the heaviness is breaking in the name of Jesus. Jesus like to name. lift up your voice in praise because God gives us, we praise him uh, for, and the spirit of heaviness, I just keep seeing it breaking right now, the oil of joy for mourning. So I want to release over you that there is joy, that there is joy, joy, joy in, in the Lord awaiting you in this new era. Thank you, Jesus. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We receive it. We receive it <clears throat> in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, for some of you, this might be the first time where you've seen a Jewish believing rabbi and a uh, prophet from Australia coming together. But you should not think that that is strange. This is what the Apostle Paul called one new man. And even though uh, we are man and woman, we are one new man from the two, thus making peace. And what, and what Lana was talking about, she was saying the scripture says to make a public spectacle. Mm -hmm. After you make a covenant declaration in Ephesians, mm -hmm. it, says, uh, it says in the book of Ephesians, it says, it's God's intent. When Jew and Gentile come together as one new man, it's God's mm -hmm. intent to make the manifold wisdom of God be made manifest 
to the powers, the principality and the heavenly host in dark places. Mm -hmm. So Father God, we come together as Jew and Gentile. We come together as the fulfillment of prophecy. We come together in the courts of heaven. We come together and we decree and declare that, Lord, you are making a public spectacle right now. Yes. There is a man. All that means is there's going to be a physical manifestation mm. of healing deliverance. <laughs> Thank you, Father God, that the fire is falling right now in your mm. home. The fire of God and deliverance is manifesting itself right now mm. in the mighty name of Yeshua, in Yeshua's name. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I just really feel like right now that the Lord um, is wanting to break anxiety. If there's anybody that's watching where you've been feeling anxiety uh, that's really been just really intense over you lately, I just want to pray for you right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just break any anxiety in the name of Jesus. Lord, I break its power right now in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I pray that the revelation of your love would just flood upon every person. I just keep seeing minds like battles of the mind and torment of the mind. And we just break that right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that your fire would fall upon them right now, Lord God, that your peace would just fall in like Rabbi was sharing on, on their shoulders, Lord God, that they would feel your peace from the top of their head, Lord God, to the bottom of their toes. Lord God, I just release right now healing into hearts in the name of Jesus. Lord, where there's been fear and any spirit of foreboding, we just bind that in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I just release your hope. I release your peace, Lord God. I release your healing. And I thank you, Jesus, for transformation, that no more anxiety, but hope for the future, Lord God, hope for the future and a confident expectation, Lord God. God, of what you are going to do. Lord, I pray for those that are watching that are waking in the morning and I just keep seeing there's a heaviness on your chest like you wake up almost in fear. Lord, I, I just pray for them right now and I prophesy that when you wake up in the morning that there will be such a transformation that you will feel the joy of the Lord upon you that as you wake up there will be an excitement that you will spring out of bed that no longer will it be, oh my gosh, it takes me forever to get out of bed. I just feel this fear that there's a new life coming over you. There's new New hope coming over you that you're going to jump out of bed with a spring in your step I keep hearing those words spring in your step so Lord I release that right now and I thank you for your healing yes no Lord. more anxiety no more fear in the name of Jesus thank you yes Lord. amen amen you know uh one of the things you can do if you're battling oppression uh that mm -hmm. Lana's addressing right now before you go to bed at night take communion just yeah. get some crackers, get what it, it, you don't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be matzah. It doesn't have to be wine. Just take some juice and some crackers and consecrate yourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, before you go to bed and, yeah. uh, and, and then put that covering over you. And mm -hmm. uh, so that you can get that sound sleep and you can have those peaceful dreams. And, mm -hmm. and so, uh, so that those anxieties and when, and when you get up in the morning, when you get up in the morning, one of the first things you want to do is turn on some praise music yeah. and uh, just deal with your atmosphere because I am, I'm, I'm sensing some mm -hmm. of the people that we're, that we're speaking to tonight are uh, really uh, battling, mm -hmm. battling that. And mm -hmm. so I'm going to ask, uh, um, I'm going to ask Christy to get me my shofar mm -hmm. and, uh, and I, I want to be able to, before we end this, this broadcast, I want to be able to blow that shofar. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you can read about the shofar in Numbers chapter uh, 10, verse 10, it says, when you go to war in your land, blow the trumpet and you will be remembered before your God. You know, and that's one of the keys. I think one of the keys when people are heavy and they're, mm -hmm. uh, they feel forgotten, they feel orphaned, yeah. they feel yeah. lack. So we break every orphan spirit. Yeah. And we decree and declare, we release your identity and who you yeah. are in him. And Lord, we thank you that that you are called to praise the Lord. And, and this is a season, this is a season of great joy. And, and I want to decree that the Lord's mercies are new every, every morning and, and absolutely great, great is your faithfulness. So I'm going to go ahead and blow this show far. And uh, uh, if you want, you can give a shout or if you want, you can clap your hands or if you want, just close your eyes and receive it. But I'm going to blow it three times. And uh, I'm just going to release that blessing out of Zion. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, 
Yeah, I just keep seeing um, confusion over eyes. So I just want to pray over you. If there's any confusion um, and a lack of clarity, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus for clarity of sight. I kept hearing the words new eyes. I just release that right now in the name of Jesus, that the Lord is, is, is it's almost like a recalibration that I'm seeing that you're going to see as he sees. There's a recalibration of your eyes and any haze, any confusion, any fog that has been over your, your vision, that the Lord is breaking that right now. I just see like the Lord's breath just breathing over you and that's blowing away and that you're going to begin to see as he sees. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank Lord. you, Lord. We receive it. Lord. Jesus. Just speak to the. When people give you blessings like that, make sure that you speak because the power of life and death say, Lord, I receive it. Yeah. Lord, I receive it. Mm. Lord, Lord's releasing seeing gifts. Mm. Don't, don't be afraid to see into the spirit. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't. Lord, I just release that seeing gift. Thank you, Lord. Deepen. Jeez. Lord, all of us need to see you and see mm. into the spirit. We need that shield of of spiritual discernment to be able to see. Jesus. So Lord, we just receive it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you're the author and finisher of our faith. Mm. Thank you, Lord, that we trust you. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We trust you, God. I just had a vision of, um, and it's probably because we talked about it, but when you go in and they're doing ceramics, mm. um, you know, they'll carve from the inside out and they'll, they'll take this tool and, and I could, I could see it spinning and, and they were carving it from the inside out. And I could hear voices saying, I, I can't lose any more. And it almost feels like if you lose any more that the vessel is going to have a hole in it. And the Lord's saying to you, no, that you're, I'm not putting a hole. You have to trust me. He yeah. says, I'm making this vessel so thin that when I put my light into it, it will shine through. Wow. And, and the Lord says, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Thank you, Jesus. I'm almost done. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing of the enduring fire, that, Lord, that you give us anointings of en en uh, endurance mm -hmm. in Yeshua's name. Praise you, Lord. I just want to release this. I keep hearing the words, you're going to come out stronger than ever. I really believe that in the process that the Lord has many of you in right now, you may feel like you're at that place of God. I just, I can't do this anymore. I, I feel so weak. I'm so broken. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to do this anymore. I want to release to you right now the empowerment of the Spirit of God, the work that God is doing in your life, that place of trust. I've been hearing the Lord, just that invitation to trust him so much lately 
that as you trust the Lord, as you trust Jesus and what he's doing in your life, you're actually coming out stronger than you went in. You are coming out stronger in him than when you went in. Any voices that are saying to you, you're going to come out shortchanged, you're going to come out broken and all of those things, that's a lie. You are coming out stronger because the Lord is fortifying you. He's strengthening you to go further than you've been and to carry more than you've ever carried. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We Thank receive you, Jesus. it. Thank you, Lord. We receive it. We receive it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, some of us have had some pretty emotionally difficult experiences with deliverance. And, um, and it wasn't even from people, but the spiritual pain of having to go back and relive and and so sometimes uh, we avoid deliverance because it's like I I can't I can't go there anymore. Uh, I don't want to go there, especially when we're in a season of pruning and in a weakened state. And I believe the Lord is speaking a word to you right now that there are the in the spirit. It's called the sure mercies of David. He says, I know that you cannot endure another major deliverance and you need deliverance. But the Lord says supernaturally, supernaturally, I am going to deliver you. There's scriptures about that where he does it with Israel. He says, I don't do this for me. I do it for my namesake. I do this for you. Yeah. And I want you just to receive that right now. Yeah, I want you just to receive that that grace, grace to the mountain deliverance. Yeah. And just take a deep breath and just, just, I, I, I really feel strong that he's, he's bringing that deliverance. What I, what I actually saw in the spirit is I saw some scrolls coming, your scrolls. And uh, the Lord says, if you'll just sign that scroll, it's over. Yeah. If you'll just sign on the dotted line in this scroll, because mm -hmm. he's the only one that has the power to, to, to open the scroll. Mm -hmm. And so, so that wax was melted and, and it's rolled out where your name is. And it's just, you're just, it's like a contract. It's a covenant. You're just going to say yes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you're not ready and I'm not ready, but I would go ahead and just say, Lord, I'm signing now. And uh, I'm going to leave the rest of this to you. And the Lord says, I'm, I'm bringing supernatural deliverance to you without the pain of the deliverance. Yeah, because he goes, this is a new season. This is justice. My justice and my judgment says that you are clean and you are mm. atoned and you have been your mm. sins have been expunged in Yeshua's name. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I see many on here signing. Mm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God. Yeah, it, this is a very, very special, mm. special time. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Boy, many saying they signed. Yeah. Yeah, just in the spirit, just, God. just take your hand like you're signing your name. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to, but sometimes a prophetic act like that is a good activator. Yeah. Just a place where you say, I agree, I'm signing my name.
some of you even may want to spiritually hand the scroll back to the Lord. Just hand it back saying, I've signed it and I'm not taking it back. I'm, I'm leaving it with you. I'm leaving it with you. I'm so thankful I can leave it with you because you'll protect it. Jesus. And I'm in agreement, Lord, with everything that's written on that scroll. Mm -hmm. I haven't been through all that I've been through. I want to see, Lord. I want to stand before you and hear, well done, good and faithful servant. And yeah. I want to see every word in that scroll mm -hmm. complete yeah. in Yeshua's mighty name. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wow, they're signing. Praise Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I keep hearing this scripture, I'm just getting it up here, um, in Song of Songs, um, where is it? Chapter 2, verse 11, um, it says this, The season has changed, the bondage of your barren winter has ended, and the season of hiding is over and gone. The rains have soaked the earth and left it bright with blossoming flowers. The season for singing and pruning of the vines has arrived. I hear the cooing of doves in our land, filling the air with songs to awaken you and guide you forth. Can you not discern this new day of destiny breaking forth around you? These are the early signs of my purposes and plans are bursting forth. The budding vines of new life are now blooming everywhere. The fragrance of their flowers whisper, there is change in the air. And in that passage where it talks about the cooing of doves, that's always the sound of harvest. And I just, while Rabbi, while you were praying, I could hear that scripture. And I heard the Lord say, can you hear the sound of harvest? And so yes. I want to release that over oh, every please. single person watching right now, that there is harvest upon you, that it is harvest time, that yes. the Lord has been moving and preparing and pruning for such a time as this. The new day of destiny is breaking forth upon you, that the purposes and plans of, of God are manifesting. Behold, he's doing a new thing. I want to prophesy right now, this is your harvest time. This, this harvest is the time. time of harvest for you and for the earth. So I release that right now in the name of Jesus, that you're going to begin Jesus. to see mighty harvest by the hand of the Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Oh, we receive it. That is so right on. That is so, I'm so encouraged to hear that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That was so beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we've, we're coming to, we, we started a little late, and I apologize that uh, we had some technical difficulties here on my side, mm -hmm. and uh, but we praise God, we got through, but we're coming up on our time, and mm -hmm. Lana, I just want to thank you. It's the first time we've done this. I hope it's not the last. This Me too. <laughs> was very, very powerful, yeah. and uh, uh, it's so easy to flow with you in the spirit. Mm -hmm. It uh this was uh, just a um, beautiful, just a, a great, yeah. uh, a great mixture. So, uh, Lord, you. we just thank you for it, and Lord, mm -hmm. we just seal everything that has been spoken. Yeah, and Lord, as it is in our tradition, Lord, let every man's name be brought low, and the name of Yeshua be lifted up on high. Yeah. And Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for your peace and your grace to be sealed on each and every one who has watched and will watch and, and on mm -hmm. these archives in this archive time in Yeshua's name. Mm -hmm. I want to remind you that on July 19th through the 20th, Empowered, this will be a webinar with Thank Lana you. and she'll have some other guests that will mm -hmm. be there. It will be a three-day seminar. Uh, and uh, I think people need to get comfortable with the cross-pollinization of the media and webinars and yeah. uh, I know we're, we're going in that same direction. So that encourages me as well. Mm 
And uh, so I wanted you to be able to do that. And also I want to encourage you to, you can go to Amazon or any place books are sold. You can, I want to encourage you to get yes. my new book, Reclaiming Our Forgotten Heritage. Uh, it's the, uh, uh, really it will help you with your identity, but it will bring a balance and how to, how to particularly uh, non-Jewish people, how do mm -hmm. we embrace the Jewish roots of the faith and do it in a healthy way mm -hmm. where we're, not Judaizing or becoming unbalanced, but how does it help us find who Jesus, who Yeshua is and, mm -hmm. and how he interacts in our life. So I wanna encourage you to be able to, to order that book. And like I say, you can order on Amazon or you can go to my webpage and mm -hmm. order it. I think we also have some specials there. If you go to kurtlandry.com, you can mm -hmm. see them there. Uh, Lana, what's your webpage? I don't, we don't have it up on the screen. Oh, sure. It's lanavorza.com. So L-A-N-A-V-A-W-S-E-R.com. Okay. Thank do you, you. Do you have anything else that you want to say? I just want to say thank you to you for just inviting me. Like I, my heart has been so ministered to. There was such a special time just to flow with you and I'm really honoured. So I want to say a huge thank you. And to everybody that's been watching, I again, I just want to release that hope to you. Do not give up. You keep trusting the Lord and all that he has because he's bringing you out stronger than when you went in. Hallelujah. Amen. We agree Amen. with that. So anyway, God bless you all and we'll see you soon. Shalom, shalom, and uh, remember to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Yes. God bless you. Are you still there? I am still here. <laughs> so I'm, it, I, I'm still here. I'm trying to, it says end broadcast and I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. <laughs> so I guess we're going into part two now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can still see people talking. <laughs> yeah, I know. We couldn't get on. Now we can't get off. So here yeah. we go. Thank Yeah. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to turn it off. We'll see how it goes. Well, this is the behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, this is behind the scenes and <laughs> Well, are people still chatting? Um, it's, it is moving on my screen. I'm just double checking on my phone to see. Hmm. Yes, it says we are still live. Okay. <laughs> well, I've. Well, it's not. Let me try one other thing. Well, the viewers are dropping off now. They went in about half about what they were before. Yeah. Let me see. Um, yeah, it says Kurt Landry Ministries is still is live. Hang on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to turn the computer off. So okay. God bless you guys. God bless you. <laughs> I, I just don't want to lose the archive. Of yeah. It. Yeah. End broadcast. Yeah. It says that. I click that and it's not ending. So. Hey, babe, right. can we get Megan on the phone? I don't want to like just turn it off and then.
and then erase it or something. 